What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to use gradient maps. So this is a cool technique that you can use on um, certain images and it basically changes the colors of the midtones, the shadows and the highlights into different colors. So basically it's a nice effect that I like to use in my posters. I use it quite a lot on different images just to merge them into the background. And I thought it'd be a really nice technique for you guys to learn. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to this. Thank you for all the support on the videos lately. Thank you for all the subscribers, new subscribers. It's been awesome. I can't even thank you enough really. So thank you so much for all that. And let's get straight into the video. Okay guys, so welcome to the video. So we have our image. Now this is going to work with any image you get, so it doesn't really matter what image you have. Just pick up any image. It can be a sports image, uh, be a lifestyle image, be a background, whatever you want. Got the image. So first things first, you want to go down to your blender options here. And what you're going to do is just go up to and you'll see gradient map down the bottom right and click that. Now, as you can see, it is uh, gone a weird color, but I'm going to talk you through this. So don't worry about that. You're going to have to click on your gradient map color here on the right and then it's going to open this gradient editor. Probably what you will be faced with is this um, this gradient to start with. So it's just a black to white basically. So how this works, the black on the left, that's where the shadows are. So if I increase it, the shadows are going to get darker. And on the right is where the highlights are. So if I increase this, the highlights are going to get lighter. And vice versa, if I swap them around, so you can obviously move them wherever you want, I can invert the color. So something like that. That looks really creepy, doesn't it? <laughs> that looks very odd. Don't like that. Let's just swap it back. So you can invert it just by swapping them around. But necessarily, when you're going to be designing this or using the gradient uh, map, you're going to make sure you have your dark uh, colors on the left and then your lighter colors on the right. So you can have as many as you want. If you wanted to add another color, you could just click and then it adds one. And if you want to get rid of it, just hold it and drag it below and it goes. So it's really simple to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down to these presets here. So we have quite a lot. Uh, you can just pick a blue one like this. See, they have a lot of presets already made for you. So if I do that one, as you can see, it's added quite a nice, well, quite a dark overlay on this uh, image, but we can work with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here and double click on the color. And what I'm gonna do is make it even brighter. So as you can see, I'm making it brighter the highlights in this image get lighter as well. So if I go over here to the white, you can see it changed color. If I go darker, you, you get the point. So we want a light color here. And then we're gonna make this one a bit darker. So it just makes a nicer contrast so you can actually see what's going on in the image. So if I make this darker and a little bit less saturated, so a bit like that, you have a nice little blend mode there. So you've got your colors, you've got everything in. What you're gonna do now is click down here in the middle and it'll add another color. So we don't want this one to be as dark. So we're gonna move this one up a little bit and we're just going to go here. And now, as you can see, we've got a nice transition going through the colors. You want the nice transition because this gets the perfect gradient over the image. So it's pretty simple. You have your darks on the left, your um, highlights on the right, and then your mid-tone will be the medium color, so the in-between color. So once you've got that all done, you've basically got your gradient map. So you can change this to, um, to be on different images or different blend modes, but or you can uh, use some blend options. So if I click OK on that, and then we go up to here where it says normal. If you scroll down through them, you can obviously apply it in different ways. So that's quite a nice effect, isn't it? The lighten, they all look different once you use different colors. They're all nice ways of adding different colors. So now that we've uh, established a base point for what the gradient maps are used for, we can go a little bit further with this. We can take it a little bit further just to get the um, the right uh, texture for you um, on the image. So you can bring out different colors. So what you're gonna need to do is just double click anywhere on this layer. So double click, you'll open your blend options. You're gonna go onto blend options at the start. You're gonna go down to where it says gray blend if. Now this is a really powerful tool. Now if I scroll these up, you'll see that the darts get dark, uh, they, they disappear basically. So what this is, is um, it picks out the dark colors and it lets you split them so that they uh, they don't uh, t take too much detail out of the image. So if I pull them along, as you can see, I'm getting rid of the darks. But if I pull the highlights along, you can see I'm gonna get rid of the highlights and the body's gonna come through. Basically, that is for the top image. That is this layer, that is the gradient map we're getting rid of. So now if I go to the underlying layer, now this is gonna be the image we got below. If I move this in, now you can see I'm getting rid of the darks in the image, but the blue is staying. So it's, it's, it's trying to attach to any dark blue or any dark area of the image that it still can. But as you see, if I pull it further and further away, there's less, less blue. But if I do the highlights, same again happens. It's just gonna get rid of all the blue on the highlights until there's no highlight left. So now that we've established that, what we can do with these is split them so you get a more even effect. So what you need to do is hold Alt, 
down um, and then you can or option on a Mac and then you can sort of drag this split it this split edge along and it sort of loosens up the color shall I say so that's on the gradient map so if I do it with the shadows it might be a bit more effective because it's a dark image so this is only affecting the gradient map so as you can see it's not picking out any colors on the uh, on the lady or anything it's just doing the gradient map so if we go to the underlying layer we can split them again holding alt or option on a Mac and then if I pull this along as you can see it's pulling out more of the skin tones again if I leave that there and then I drag this one up see it's pulling out more of the darks so as you can see it's quite a nice effect but if I undo that pull that one back and then if you go where it says gray you can pick out the reds the greens or the blues in the image so this can be in the image this is so if I go to the reds now this is going to be obviously the skin tone well the closest thing to skin tone so what we're going to do is we're going to hold alt or option on Mac and split this one again the highlights and then this is going to bring out the skin but keeping the blue effect now as you can see we've got a really nice effect see you've got a lips coming through you've got a little bit of blue we've got a, quite a lot of blue on the dark areas but you can see the skin tone pushing through so if I increase the highlights as you can see get rid of quite a lot of that but if I split it again same thing happens now even if you wanted to do it on here as well this just loosens up the color a little bit but if you wanted to do it on here again that gets rid of the dark areas but we still keep this nice effect so as you can see by splitting the colors you get a really nice blend of color but if we think this is too harsh let's just turn this on and off to see what we've got see we've got a nice little blue if you think this is too harsh what we can do is reduce the opacity a little bit down to i don't know 50 50% now if I turn this on and off you've got a nice little atmospheric effect so you've got the the blue around the uh, the dark edges and the dark areas of the image and then there's not really much on the skin uh, the skin tone just so it uh, creates a realistic effect I should say so this is a really easy way of coloring an image um, it's not too complicated to use uh, I'm just going to show you how you can save this preset so if you double click on your gradient map Actually, no, not double click, double click on the colors here, sorry. And then what you're going to do, you're going to see all these like different ones that have been made and stuff. And what you can do is name it tutorial, or I'll name it tutorial because this is a tutorial. And then you just click new, and then it'll be added at the bottom. So if you ever wanted to use it again, so let's just click off it, have a different one. If you ever want to use it again, we can just go to the blue there and then apply it. And obviously it'll all work just fine how it was meant to. So as you can see, I've got a load of different ones here, but obviously they're not going to work very well for this image because we've set it up for that gradient um, that we just created. So the gold's quite nice. The uh, There's always nice reds and yellows that you can use with this. So if I, um, if I show you this real quick, I'm just going to make a new gradient map and show that it's very simple to do. So if we'll go down, we'll go down to the reds. See, they've got some nice ones here, but obviously you want the colors to be the other around. I don't know why they've got them inverted, but if I swap them around like this, you'll see we get quite a nice effect. This is a very powerful effect, again. So if we wanted to change the blend mode, maybe to a lighten, that looks really nice, nice purpley effect, or screen, any of these look quite nice. But again, if we go to the blend if options, we can split the layer, get rid of some of the darks on the uh, skin, or the hair and stuff, the dark areas. Then we can bring out some of the skin, bring out some of the dark here. We can just create a really nice effect, basically. So if you want the skin to come out again, but obviously this isn't gonna work too well on the reds because it's already a red gradient. So if you wanted to choose a blue or something, it would probably work better. And then if you want the blue to come out on the dark areas. See, there's lots of there's lo lots of little things you can do with this. Again, that is how, how much you can do with gradient maps and how many uh, options there are to do. So I'm gonna make one more for you guys, just quickly, just to show you that it's really simple to do. I'm just gonna go for a yellow and you know, black and, mm, should we go for a light yellow? Yeah, we'll go for a light yellow. So we'll go for that. And then we're going to have an orange in the middle. See, that looks really nice, doesn't it? So I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to save this one. Um, simple name. So we just save that as a new. That's a really nice one. And then what we're going to do is we are going to double click it. And we are going to play around with the underlying layer. Just so we can bring, bring back some of the blue in the dark areas. And then some of the skin tone a little bit. Go to the reds. Bring back some of the skin tone again, just to make it look a little bit more realistic. Uh, we can even go to the blue as well, and sort of make this this jacket that she's wearing, the denim jacket, a little bit more uh, grayed out, so it doesn't make so much of a harsh effect on the gradient map. So again, we just play around with that, but that looks really nice. So I guess we could play around with the shadows a little bit as well. And there we go. Simple, guys. Nothing hard about it. So hopefully you've learned something in this video. Um, I will be making a pack of gradient maps for you guys to download. So this will be in the graphics pack that I'm making with the light leaks and everything. Make sure you follow the Instagram and you'll see all the stuff that's going on there. I'm basically making a graphics pack. It'll probably cost about £10 
and it's going to have loads of different assets in it like light leaks textures images players um gradient maps all sorts of different things brushes fonts all sorts of things that you can um obviously download and pay for for 10 pound really cheap there's going to be a lot of stuff in there and you'll have all the copyrights to yourself but um yeah hopefully it'll give you something to look forward to you know uh, and thank you again for all the support on the videos i hope you've enjoyed this one i hope you've learned something if you have learned something let me know in the comments i always read all the comments and i'll always reply to all of them so thank you so much guys and i'll see you in the next video